For this assignment, you're going to do a mandala. That is project six on the server. You can open that assignment and you will find a folder marked mandalas. Inside of there, you are to choose, I believe there's 30, yep. You are to choose a uh, design that you like the best. And I looked through them a little bit earlier, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that onto my desktop. And then I'm going to drop that into Photoshop. And that's going to come up kind of a small uh, document. It's probably going to be like a four and a half or five by five. So I'm going to unlock the background. And this assignment is going to be purely about coloring the shapes. So we're going to use learn how to use the magic wand tool, which is this. And when I I click on an area, I get the marching ants, okay? And I'm going to do that by going through this design and filling it with color. So I've selected that area. I'm going to also select the same. I'm holding down the shift key, and I'm going to select multiple areas and so that it's that same shape that goes all the way around, but it's not quite connected. And actually, I need to get this part and this part. And I think that's all of it. Okay, now I'm gonna edit, fill. So you go to edit and fill. Now, actually I could fill it with a pattern. I could fill it with a color. I could fill it with uh, other some other things that we haven't discussed yet and aren't relevant to this, but let's go to color. And inside color, I really like purple, shades of purple and yellow together. I'm gonna go with kind of a darker purple, okay? And then that's already selected and hit okay. Now, command D for deselect, and then you can see I've got this, that bright purple in there. Now I'm gonna grab this shape, and let's do the same, edit, fill, and I'd like to say, fill it with the same color, so I'm gonna hit okay. Command D to deselect. Um, how about we go through, now I'm gonna have to hold shift, and click each and every one of these. Looks like there's a line missing here. There should be a black line. After I get these all selected, I'm gonna edit fill, and let's change that. Let's go to a yellow. Let's go to a bright yellow, and we're gonna add it for that. And we say OK, and there's our yellow. Oops, and I missed a spot. So we're going to edit fill. And again, yellow. OK, uh, Command D for deselect. <clears throat> Let's start. I'm going to zoom in. Command plus plus to zoom in. And I'm going to grab every other one of these. Okay, and now let's do this one, about every other one of these. Okay, <clears throat> and we're gonna edit, fill. Um, actually, <clears throat> I'm gonna do something different. Uh, I'm gonna Command Z and not do that. I'm going to fill it with a gradient. So come over here to the gradient tool, and you see I get those crosshairs there. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change my gradient. I clicked on the gradient. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change these colors. I'm going to go from a yellow, let's go from a lighter yellow, to, I'm going to go to this purple. See how the eyedropper came up? But then I'm going to go lighter purple. And then that's going to be my gradient. I'm going to say, add that as a new gradient so it'll save it in there and I say okay and then I'm gonna kind of appear and I could do a linear gradient a radial gradient an angular gradient a reflective gradient and a diamond gradient I'm gonna go back to radial I'm gonna take that crosshairs I'm gonna put it somewhere in the center and I'm gonna hold the mouse down and I'm gonna click out and I didn't get a lot of that purple let's see I'm gonna go farther and still, I didn't get a lot of, let's go shorter, actually, I'm probably doing this wrong. 
Let's go like that. Okay. And now you can see the yellow and the purple. Command D for deselect. Command zero to fit to screen. And that actually looks kind of cool. Let's zoom back in. Let's do the magic wand again. I'm going to select all the other spaces. I think what I'm going to do this time is I will do this. I will do the gradient. We're going to go up here. We're going to make this bucket the yellow. And we're going to make, well, that's not true. We're going to do this. Okay, we're going to cancel that. We're going to make this bucket the yellow. Ah, sorry, we're going to move this over. And then we're going to make a new bucket that's going to be this. So now I've got uh, purple and yellow the other way. I've, I've inverted it. So now I'm going to say, okay, I'm still on radial gradient. I'm going to go from the outside of the circle. No, I'm going to go from the inside of the circle out. And now, I don't like how that, but now I have the opposite direction. I didn't get a, hold on just a second. Let's grab this part correctly. Okay, back to gradient, middle of the circle to just outside, and now we have the opposite direction of a gradient. Command D for deselect. I'm going to take black brush and I'm going to just, I'm going to clean this up a little bit because those should be solid black and they're pretty pixely. <clears throat> you can do that for your project, it'll make it look nicer. Especially when we're zoomed in and then when we fit to screen it uh, really cleans that up command zero fit to screen okay and you can see how actually let's get a couple of these guys right in here Command zero, fit to screen. Okay, now I'm going to decide what else I want to fill. And you can continue to go through each of these steps. And actually, I think I would like to grab this big one again. And I liked the gradient. And I think I would do this one differently. Let's, um, let's fill that with a gradient also. Let's start with this darker purple. And like I had a minute ago. And again, let's do the radial. Ah. Where the purple's just not going to show up. Let's go this way. Oh, it's weird, but how about we do the reflected instead? It's kind of cool. We'll do that. Command D for deselect. Now you're going to spend your time, uh, command plus and zooming in, command minus zooming out, and you're going to fill all of the little shapes of your mandala. So I'm going to come back, whoops, no, edit fill, I'm going to come back here, and let's make sure I'm on a bright yellow and I say yes. Okay, command zero. So you're going to see how that's going to start to look. Come up with a color scheme for your assignment and um, we'll discuss those color schemes in class that you should use. One more thing that you could do, I have found a pattern on the internet that is purple and yellow. I'm going to bring that into Photoshop in its own document and I'm going to layer, new fill layer pattern and I'm gonna call it purple, yellow, leaves. And I'm gonna add it to my patterns and I don't know why that did that. I'm going to click here whoop, and go down to purple yellow leaves. I have no idea why that's there. Let's delete that. Let's unlock that background. Try it again. Layer new fill pattern. Purple. 
yellow leaves. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, this is wrong. I need to go to Nope. I need to add this as a new layer. Oh. There we go. Sorry. Edit to find brush. Purple. Yellow. Leaves. Okay. Now. Oh. Edit to find pattern. Okay, let's see if we've got this in our patterns. There it is. Okay, this actually do that and we're going to say okay now that should still be in our patterns let's go back yeah it's in there um but we don't need it right here we're going to delete that and delete that we're going to come back here and uh, let's try magic wand and grab this section edit fill no with that new oh that looks very strange but it's an option so let's put it actually let's try it back here put down shift select multiples okay fill with a pattern this new pattern we say okay that's kind of cool and we're going to command D for deselect so using gradients and patterns and fill colors I need you to fill in the entire mandala I will leave a list of color schemes to choose from along with this assignment on the server thank you